Hey folks, welcome to my quick tutorial on how to create a simple animated progress bar in Unity. We won't be using any plugins, just the tools available to us in Unity, and by the end of the tutorial you'll have a basic sliding progress bar with cool particle effects. From there you'll be able to easily customize the look and feel to make sure it fits perfectly into your project. Let's get started. To kick things off I've created a new Unity project. I've chosen 2D for this example, but we'll be working in a canvas so the type of project shouldn't really matter. For reference, I'm using the latest stable version of Unity, which is 2019.1.7 F1. From here, let's go ahead and create the game object that will become our progress bar. Right click in the scene hierarchy and choose UI slider. This will create a canvas game object as well as your slider. In the inspector for the canvas, I'm gonna change the render mode to screen space camera and drag the main camera in as the render camera. I personally prefer this approach for my games. To make that slider easier to work with, I'm going to set its X and Y position to 0 and scale it up to 2. This will just make the slider appear larger in the middle of the screen. Once we have all the functionality we want for the progress bar, you can change these properties to be whatever best suits your game. Next, we need to make some modifications to the slider to make it more like a progress bar. Go ahead and expand all the children of the slider in the scene hierarchy. If you examine those children more closely, you'll realize they represent three main components of Unity's default slider the background, the fill of the slider, and the handle that you can move back and forth. As you might expect, we're most concerned with the background and the fill mechanic, so go ahead and delete the handle slide area game object and its child. I'm going to go ahead and rename the slider in my hierarchy to progress bar. From there, select the progress bar in your hierarchy and head over to the inspector. Find the value slider near the bottom of your slider component and try dragging it from left to right. This is the value we'll be changing to fill the progress bar up. However, you'll notice that at a value of 1, the progress bar isn't totally filled. To fix that, select the fill area game object that's a child of your progress bar. In the inspector, set the right value of the rect transform from 15 to 4. This removes the right padding on the fill area without allowing the fill to overshoot the end of the progress bar. To make things look a little bit nicer, let's change the fill color. Click on the fill game object in the hierarchy and head over to the inspector. From here, open up the color attribute and pick whatever looks good to you. I'll go with yellow to make it look like an XP bar. At this point we have a game object that will serve as our progress bar. However, the only way we can change the fill value right now is in the Unity editor. To fix that, we need to create a script that our game can use to change this value for us. In the project window, I'll create a scripts folder within the assets folder. In my scripts folder, I'll create a new script and call it progress bar. Double click that to open it up in your editor. For this tutorial, the purpose of this script will be simple. It will provide a public function that increases the value of the progress bar, and I'll walk you through how to achieve that. To start off, we need a reference to our slider component since it owns that value that we'll be changing. Head back to Unity and attach your progress bar script to your progress bar game object. Note that our new progress bar component shares the same game object as the slider component. Head back to your editor and create a reference to the slider component. I first create a private property to hold this reference. You'll have to import UnityEngine.UI for the script to know what the slider component is. Then, in the awake function, I search for the slider component within my game object and save the result to my property. Now that we have access to the slider value, let's write a function to modify it. I'll create a public function called increment progress and pass in a float value called new progress. This will represent the amount of progress we want to add to the bar. It's important to note that for this demonstration, we'll assume a value between 0 and 1, since that's the min and max value of our slider component. Now, if we just add our new progress value to our slider like so, the slider will be updated correctly, but this change will not animate. We want the slider to slowly fill up as it reaches its new value. To handle this animation, we'll write some code in the update function to slowly move our slider's current value towards its new target value. To do this, we need to track our target value. Go ahead and create a new property for this at the top of the class. For now, I'll default it to zero for simplicity's sake. In reality, this will always reset your progress when this component is loaded, so you may want to tweak this for your game. Now, in our increment progress function, rather than set the value of the slider directly, we can set our target value by adding our new progress to the current slider value. Now, in the update function, we want to move our slider's current value towards the target value if they do not match. To control how quickly this happens, I'll create a public fill speed float and set that to 0.5. You can tweak this later to be whatever you like. Now for the update logic. We'll check to see if our slider value is less than the target value, and if so, increase it by the result of multiplying the fill speed by time.delta time. This should result in a smooth animation. To test this out, go ahead and call increment progress in the start function of our progress bar component. I'll increment to 75%, which is a value of 0.75. 
Again, for this demo, we're assuming positive values between 0 and 1 to be passed in. When you implement this in your game, you may want to add some input validation to reduce the risks introduced by assumptions like this. Once that change is made, head over to Unity and hit play. You should see your progress bar slowly fill up to 75%. At this point, the basic functionality of our progress bar is already complete. We have a component that exposes a public function, allowing other scripts to add progress to the bar. However, we can take this one step further by adding some cool particle effects to the bar as it fills up. You can completely customize the way you implement these particles to suit your project. Personally, I like to see particles emit from the tip of the filled portion of the bar as it's filling, so I'll quickly show you how to do that. Click on your fill game object in the hierarchy and create an empty game object as a child. Name this new child something like progress bar particles, and in the inspector, anchor this game object to the middle right of its parent. Next, reset the x position to zero. This will result in the emitter always being at the leading edge of the progress bar fill. Now add a particle system component to this new game object. I'm going to change a few values of this system to make these particles look a bit better. Again, this part is totally up to you. I'll change the duration to 2, start speed to negative 2, and start size to 0.1. Under the emission section, I'll change rate over time to 25, and under shape, I'll change the angle to 45 and make the radius as small as it can be. Finally, I'll open up size over lifetime and configure it to make the particles get smaller over time. That looks pretty cool. However, the particles are playing all the time. We only want them to play while the progress bar is in motion. In the emitter, go ahead and uncheck play on awake. Then head back to your progress bar script in the editor. As we did with the slider component, we need to grab a reference to that particle system. I'll create a property for the particle system, then in the awake function, I'll search for that progress bar particles game object that I created and get the particle system component from it. Now that we have a reference to the particle system in our script, we're going to make it play only when we're animating the progress bar. Let's head to the update function and modify it so that if we're in the progress of moving the slider towards the target value, we're also playing the particle system. Make sure to include a check for whether or not the particle system is already playing. You'll also want to stop the particle system if we reach the target. After I do that, I'll uncomment the code to increment our progress and test it out. That looks pretty good. While the bar's filling up, the particles fly out, and once we reach the target, they stop. Now you have a fully functioning progress bar. There are plenty of directions to go from here. You can totally customize how this looks to fit your game, and further customize your script to fine-tune the behavior of your bar. Hey guys, hope you liked the tutorial. If it helped, consider letting me know in the comments or by liking and subscribing. I'd also love to hear your suggestions for more simple Unity tutorials like this one that you'd like to see on the channel. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.